It's been another busy week in Team Bembridge, and although we only had four days, it flew by and we got lots of experience using our super flex powers. Flexibility, resilience, and adaptability are common terms in our classroom as we managed another week with problematic internet connections at Rocky Lake. By the end of the week, however, we were optimistic that the problem had been resolved and we really do look forward to improved connectivity in week seven. Students are showing great maturity in their weekly reflection of learning. Uh, in week six, we also participated in the Civics Canada Student Vote for Mayor. Students learned about the candidates and the important role that citizens play in democracy through exercising their right to vote in the student vote, which is a parallel vote. The Canada Student Vote Program by Civics uses the election as a teachable moment and it brings democracy alive in our classroom. This hands-on learning program empowers students to experience the voting process firsthand, and it gives students the opportunity to cast ballots for the official candidates running in the election. So it really does feel like a real election. Students participated in the vote with electronic ballots, and our election results actually mirrored the real election. Although in our class, Max Taylor received more votes than in the real election. He certainly had polished videos, which appealed to our younger population. Our experience was a little different this year in our re as our regional counselor, Tim Othit, was unopposed. So we really only had to research the mayors. In math this week, we began our sh short unit on integers, and it was great to see the students engaged in the conversation around negative numbers, which included important topics like the impact of global warming on sea level and flooding, debt, and the stock market. Students bring such worldly perspective to our classroom discussions, and I really wish parents could be a fly on the wall for these amazing classroom conversations. We certainly have an engaged group of learners. This week, we have continued to deal with um, interpersonal conflict and the challenges of working well together in COVID times. Students are reminded to stop and think first before they say or do something. It is so important for students to learn the difference between when it is appropriate to think something and when it is appropriate to say it aloud or to take action. We have students, 25 of them, with very different learning styles, all coming together in one small environment. And it can be challenging, especially when we are already frustrated or irritated by the new COVID-19 classroom realities. It is important for all of us to remember that not all thoughts need to or should be voiced aloud. And it is really important for students to exercise their social filters and differentiate between whether or not their comments are helpful, kind, or necessary before they share them. That's a, a real skill to develop. And that skill, if they develop it in grade six, will be a lifelong asset that will serve them well going forward. We will continue to work on strategies to reinforce using our social filters and students will be encouraged to stop and think about the impact of their comments or actions before they actually take action. Um, please be sure to take some time to check out our links below, including the plan for week seven. And as always, if you have any questions, I would love to um, hear them. I've also included a link to a survey so that you can give me some feedback. And I do appreciate you, the parents who have already taken the time to give me that feedback. It's really important. I see one perspective in the classroom and to hear what you're finding at home with your student um, is really helpful in how I plan my, my teaching going forward. And again, there there is no script for how we're doing this and certainly the learning this year in my grade cl six classroom looks very different than it has in previous years. So um, please keep that in mind and I hope you all got out and enjoyed the beautiful weather, fall colors and sunshine this weekend. Have a great week and I 